Hi guys, Reviews for Yous here, back with another review for you. This is for the eTech City Digital Multimeter. It is the manual model. Uh, it is model number MU600. Uh, it comes with the supplied cables, as you could see. Uh, the meter itself here, which is also a backlit uh, model. Um, it's pretty bright to show you guys the backlit, but uh, I'm going to do that for you here anyways. Just give it a quick light there so you guys can see it's pretty bright, but I'm going to leave it off for the uh, demonstration just for the clarity of the screen there. Um, it comes with these test leads, very very nice test leads here. It comes uh, with the box obviously, and it comes with the manual and the uh, built-in stand uh, on the meter here, as well as this bumper cushion which you can take off. It also comes uh, supplied with a pre-installed 9 volt battery down here at the bottom. Um, get that set up for you there, perfect. Um, it, like I said, it's the manual ranging uh, multimeter, so you have to select um, what range uh, that you're going to be testing, uh, say for household up here. Um, you have a 200 volt or 500 volt, so usually if you're just testing things around the house, you would put it on the 200. Uh, I'll show you a quick demo of that right now. I'll just switch it over to the 200. That, that will do up to 200 volts. Uh, there is protection built into the meter. Uh, as you can see in the background here, I do have uh, an AC outlet there for you guys, so I'm just going to quickly plug these probes in here for you guys. And just in case you don't know either, the black is your common. It goes into the wider slot on your uh, wall. Um, and the red goes into the other one, uh, just so you know. I'm going to get that plugged in there for you. And as you can see on my screen, it's uh, putting out 121 volts. Uh, so that works great. Now over here is your uh, DC, DC range. Uh, I'm going to put it on to uh, 20, as you can see here, just because uh, I have a few batteries, 9-volt batteries. So obviously you'd put it uh, onto the up to uh, 20 volts. Uh, and give yourself a good go here. Now any battery you're checking, as you can see, it has the positive there and positive is red. So you want to put those on there. And my 9 volt battery, as you can see here, is only putting out 8 point, roughly 8.4. So it's time to change that. That would explain why my smoke detector was going off. Simple AAA battery here, same thing. You've got your positive marked, put your red on that side, uh, like you can see here, and on the bottom you put your your black and I'm only <laughs> that one's dead too. Well actually it's 1.5 volts this alkaline battery so I'm putting at 1.45 so it's actually really good. Now besides batteries, um, well, there's another button cell, same thing, positive side there, same reading. Yeah, I might as well do it quickly here for you guys. It might be a little bit harder to test this. We'll see. It's a 3 volt, uh, it's putting out 2.87, pretty good. So there's that. Not only that, um, if you're suspected of fuses, say in your car or around the house, things like that, a fuse, and you're not sure um, if it's working properly, obviously you can see here, you can see the filament inside the glass. You can tell that, uh, you can see that wiggly line. It doesn't look like it's broken, but say your fuse isn't working. Really nice feature about this meter is you put it down here to the red zone. Uh, it's called continuity. Uh, what continuity does is it tells you if you have a complete circuit. And if you can hear this, you can hear that beep. That means you're actually completing a complete circuit. Now, for checking fuses, you don't have to worry about positive and negative. You simply put it on one side, you put it across to the other, and if you get that beep, you know that that fuse is good. Now, another thing that I really like is light bulbs. Well, here's a light bulb. This one, you can actually see into it. It's a clear one. You can see the filament going around the entire thing there. And actually, I took this out and I know that it works. Uh, Easy way to test though, why not give her a go? Continuity, doesn't really matter. Same with negative and positive, it doesn't matter. You put it across there, you know you have a good ball. You can also take a look in the clear ones. Now, if you have a frosted ball, how do you tell? Sometimes you give it the shake test, you get a little bit of the filament rattling around. Sometimes you hold it up to the light and you can see the filament down at the bottom. Sometimes you can't because the filament actually doesn't um, come separated from the support brackets inside the ball. So giving it a shake test or whatever, or looking in the bottom, you can't tell. So that's when the continuity comes really handy. You're wondering why that bulb isn't working. Obviously, you know, most people are just going to throw it out and get another one. Put your one tester on one side, one on the other. I got a beep, so I know my bulb's good. If it wasn't working, it wouldn't beep. It's that simple. Christmas tree lights, guys, same thing. You got your two little wires coming out of the bottom, pull the bulb out, stick one of these on there. If it's not beeping, you know that bulb's gone. You probably know it's gone too because it's not lighting. But in case you want to know, check all your lights in your strand. Very easy way to do it.
Uh, it'll also do resistance and it'll do over here and it'll do your ohms and all the ranges are, are listed around the side. Uh, very nice meter, it's got a hold feature as well and it has uh, up to 10 amp measurements. It'll also do uh, capacitors and stuff down here. You just put them into your PNP or your NPN uh, slots there. Really nice meter, really handy. It's quite compact, uh, I like that. Uh, very nice display and like I said, it does have the backlit display on. It's kind of hard to show you on the screen. It, uh, on the video it glares a little bit, but uh, it's very nice and clear. Um, very nice meter. It's the Measure Up uh, E-Tech City model number MU600 digital multimeter. It does voltage, current, and resistance. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.